Back last September, so about a year ago from today, my mom was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer and we thought that she was getting better through the months. There's lots of trials along the way, surgeries. One Sunday, we woke up and just a regular Sunday and my grandpa says, hey, you kids, we're going to visit your mom, but he sounded like very, very urgent about it. And I remember thinking, like, oh no, like something's not right. And I remember walking into my house and my house just wasn't the same. I looked to the right and there was an oxygen tank. It just smelled like the hospital. It was just like, it seemed like I was walking into a hospital, just like the mood and everything. I was waiting for them to tell me something, but I didn't want them to. I just wanted to like ignore it. And every, my whole family was there and we sat down on the couch and my dad started talking and I knew instantly you're gonna tell us. And my dad told us that my mom was gonna pass away. And I remember just feeling the worst feeling and I remember feeling so hopeless that I was gonna lose my mom. And that day, she said her goodbyes to us, but she could still like talk and have a conversation. And she told me that she wanted me to keep living the gospel. And she told me that I was gonna get married and have a family. She also told me that she wanted the whole family to make it back to heaven. She said, no empty chairs. She wanted everyone to be there. And I remember feeling a lot of peace and a lot of hope after she talked to me. And I remember that, I remember praying to feel peace. And ever since then, I felt peace through just good friends and family and just surrounding myself with good people. I know that families can be together forever and I think that's brought me a lot of peace knowing that it's just temporary, she's just, it's just goodbye and then I'll say hi later. It's just, it's just a short period of time I'm saying goodbye for. Since she had cancer, there's not anything I can do to help her. So the only thing I can do is like turn to the Savior and pray and so it just it's taught me that it's really important to rely on the Savior when it's just times where you can't control what happens.